Please, what's going on? Your mom and I are concerned about you. Don't be. I've been waiting for this for a really long time. Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is my Let's Talk Soap series where I recap Bold and the Beautiful. If you're a fan, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out my playlist for non-stop drama. Let's get started. Don't worry about Brooke. You're finally getting what you want. Just go on. Going to meetings, she's got the support of her family. She's gonna be she's she's fine. Sick. Here we she's see sick. Brooke at her house going over some papers God. when there's a knock at the door. To her surprise, Come Ridge in. comes walking in. Ridge. She asks him what he's doing there. It's good to see you. What are you doing here? What are he you tells doing here? her he needs to pick up some stuff. I thought I'd pick up some clothes. Yeah. She you questions him, stuffy? saying she could have had it sent yeah. over. Oh, okay. Um, I, I could have them sent to you. You're not comfortable uh, being here. I'm comfortable. Well, Riz admits he really you came because he came missed her and he wanted to see her. <laughs> I could have sent somebody over here to pick up my stuff. I could have waited for you to go to work. I came by because I wanted to see you. He's really homesick. You can tell by the way he talks about coming there. Oh, like driving up here, everything looked so nice. Flowers and flowers. <laughs> worried about you. Ridge tells Brooke okay? that he's uh, worried about her, that I'm she has support. By. Hey, don't do that. I know we're not together anymore, yeah. but the timing of this is it's awful. I love you. I'm always gonna love you. And I'm always she tells going to love him. Hope's right there. And I get it. I came here because I, I, I want to make sure you're not unsupported. No, I'm, uh, hope is right down there. You know, she's been wondering. Right he says he knows, but he More wants her to know that he's there for her also. No, she, yeah, she, she, she'll do whatever she can, and, and so will I. Thank you. Brooke goes on saying that it consumes me. It's desperate need to understand what drove me to destroy my entire life. I know it's killing you. It's killing me too. She could apologize a million times, but it would never be enough. No matter how many times I say I'm sorry, I know it'll never be enough. Red tells her she doesn't need to apologize anymore. Well, you don't have to apologize anymore. Well, I can't help it, Rich. I mean, I am sorry. I, I messed up. He tells her that he loves her. Concerned about you, despite everything that happened. I'm not going to turn my back on you and the fight you're in, the pain you're feeling. Riz says he just wishes that she could take away his pain. I, I just wish you could take the pain away. I wish you could too. And I know that you have sympathy for me. As Brooke talks me, about what happened. I and I can't blame it all on the alcohol. I mean, I have to take some kind of responsibility. I can't blame that on anybody else. I'm the one who hurt you. I let you down. Riz comes over, putting his arms around her, pulling her in for an embrace. So I just want you to stand by me and defend me. Just not here for that. I've lost the person. Looks a little confused. You can tell I she's loved. not sure exactly how More to take this. But because of the choices I made that night, because I drank, I wake up every morning without you. But Riz is definitely acting like maybe he wants to be back with her. Is that what he is trying to propose here, or is he just playing games? Make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell. Brooke was sabotaged. You used her alcoholism as a weapon against her. She had to kill her. I know I did. Don't miss out on the fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. But to plot revenge like this? To deliberately undermine a person's sobriety? Yeah, well, she had it coming. You went too far, Sheila. 